Hi, I'm Nick McKellar. And what position do you play? I play right back. And how, what year are you in? I'm a first year for the Richmond Academic, or Richmond International Academic and Soccer Academy. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. First, first year with Yasa. Yes. Excellent. And are you enjoying your program so far? I am. I really enjoy it here. I love it. Best parts of the program, what would you say? Uh, I get to play football every day, or, you know, most every day. Um, uh, I get to have uh, an international business degree for both, like, England and the UK and in the USA, so that's really cool. I get to meet people from all over the world. Um, we have, like, a top-quality coaching staff. Like, the list goes on. There's lots of good stuff, so. Excellent. So you yeah. feel you made the right decision with coming on the program? Definitely, yes. So, Nick, talk me through your average week at Riesa. Average week? Monday we have conditioning in the morning, which kind of starts the week off, right? And then uh, I have classes. I have three classes on Monday. And then uh, sometimes U19 games Monday nights. Um, Tuesdays is just a training day, so you get a day off of the academics, which is nice. And uh, you can kind of, you have lots of free time that day to go to Sainsbury's or get groceries or whatever. And then uh, Wednesday is a day off of uh, training, so you have classes. I only have two classes, so it's kind of easy anyway, so I still have some free time to study and whatnot. Thursday, we have both training and classes. Uh, Friday is kind of like the practice in the morning. It's just kind of like a pre-game focus strategies kind of practice, and then I also have a class Friday. And then Saturday is most of the time game days, and Sunday you just kind of get to relax and filter through. So. so it's a fair balance between the academic side of the program, the football side of the program, and even free time for yourself to see the see leads, I guess. Exactly, yeah. You have lots of free time Sunday to do you know, whatever you want. If you don't have a game Saturday, say it gets rained out, which will happen, then you have the whole weekend to do whatever you want. And uh, there is a really... Yeah, organized balance between classes and football, so you never f never feel overwhelmed with either one, so that's oh, good. That's good to have the balance there, isn't it? Yes. So you're talking about use of your free time, Nick. Um, do you have time to sort of see much of England? How about on the football side of things? Yeah, I got to go see Manchester City play Arsenal at Manchester City Stadium, which is really cool. And uh, it was kind of kind of weird because whenever I purchased the tickets they were for the Man City's home fans and I support Arsenal so I was just mixed around with a bunch of angry English people whenever Arsenal tied it up and so I wanted to celebrate but I didn't just because I didn't want to get murdered but yeah. I must say I can relate to you on that one because I've been in the same situation as a Chelsea fan watching Man City beat Chelsea sitting in the Manchester end and it's a bit of a harrowing experience yeah. but um Still, it's a good experience, I think. It is, yeah. So you've been selling the program as it's quite a positive thing with a lot of benefits to it. How about the difference of being away from home? There must be some difficulties that you've encountered through being here. Yeah. Um, the weather is like the main thing, being from Texas. I'm used to just warm, clear skies. But here, like, if you see the sun, it's a good day. So, But usually it's pretty cloudy. It's not that bad, though. You do see um, the sun sometimes then? Yes, yes, definitely. On a good day. Um, the time difference is also kind of strange, like planning when you're going to Skype call back to your family if you, you know, need to, or like, you know, messaging your friends or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's kind of different. But I guess the whole Skype thing makes it a lot easier now to be away from home than it was, say, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, definitely. I'm able to Skype my family, like two times a week if they need to, like if they want to update me with something or right now my mom's planning my sister's wedding so I can kind of just still kind of feel like I'm participating but not really so. Yeah, so you're not too isolated from the family then? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So Nick, Riesa has five different teams running at the moment for this season. Which team do you play in and how do you find it? I have been playing mainly for the U19 squad but I've also been playing for the reserve team. Um, the U19 squad is fun because you're playing with all your first year friends and you, we have a very strong first year team so it's fun you know, winning games and competing against kids your own age and uh, for the reserve team it's kind of exciting but you can also be playing against guys that are like 
10 years older than you, okay, not really, but yeah, like much older than you, much bigger than you. So it's kind of, it's a challenge, but at the same time, the way we play, we're able to like play around them and show them that it's not all physical, that we do have some skill. So that's really fun. So the different teams sort of expose you to different areas of the game and different sides of it, I guess. Definitely, yeah. yeah.